Do you know your machine will stitch out designs in the order they're brought into the, into the screen area? So if I was to bring in uh, this design, and we'll put it up here a little bit, and then I bring in a second design, it will stitch this one first and this one second. So sometimes there is an order that you want it to go in. For example, I'm going to just go ahead and delete these off. If you are doing multiple rows of lettering, have you ever done that where you have a row one and it stitches out? What happens at the end of row one? It will take the, and jump and bring a whole line of thread all the way back down to row number two. And it's kind of obvious that you want to do designs like that, you know, in the order you read them in, top line, second line, third line. But let's do something real quick. I'm going to quick do a setup of how I would set up something that's got multiple lines, whether it's a quilt label, a Bible verse, or something that just has multiple lines that you're going to position all on screen. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do it so you can see which one I'm doing. I'm going to type in the word last, and we'll bring that on screen. All right, so last is going to be, well, last. Next, we'll go and do that again, and I'm going to pull in the word middle. So M I. D D L E. Okay, middle, check here for spelling. Middle. And remember we've got the grid under preferences, so if I wanted to zoom in I can get it so every item is perfectly aligned. So we can come back up here and the last one is first. But do you notice I'm putting them in in reversed order? First. Okay. So I can come in here. We can, um, let's do zoom first. Zoom to box. Draw a box around your area that you want to zoom in on. Love that. And then we can go ahead, for example, if I want to put the middle, let's put it on this line. And yes, I can move it and then I can use the arrows up or down to kind of nudge it onto a line. And then I can come over here, put this one on a line and then put this one on a line. That one almost looks perfect. Okay. Actually, get that close, and then this one will, I'll bring it down to this box. Okay. So let's pretend that this is going to stitch out. What order is it going to stitch out? It's going to stitch it out in the order we brought it in. Last. L-A-S-T. So when it's done with the T, this line is going to drag up to the first stitch of the M, which normally starts right around here. So then I don't have to worry about trimming that thread. It's going to go ahead and stitch. But if I had done it in order and I brought this in, it would have gone to the T and drawn, you know, the, the, the drag would go all the way across. So you ask me, well, why would I want to do this? My thread, my machine cuts my thread in between all these. Well, here's something I'm going to talk about, about the selective thread cutter. It's going to cut in between all these letters. Here's the thing, on the back side of your fabric, it's going to look a little sloppy. So I actually turn off the selective thread cutter so it does not cut between my letters, so it looks better on the back. And yes, I do have to trim, but trust me, it does look a little bit neater. So yes, by having this do it in this order, Order, you don't have any extra thread to, you might say, jump over itself or dig out after the stitches are made. Trust me, when you do a little planning ahead and bring in your designs in the order you want them to stitch, you will have a better result.